are going up the range to the Darling Downs to Toowoomba right now. And we're going to catch up with a great mate of ours, Peter Campbell. He's got a brand new single out all about driving out on the speedway. Peter, are you a speedway fan yourself and did you spend a bit of time out driving at all? Mate, I'm a big motor racing fan and yes, I've done some speedway racing myself too. In what class? Oh, I've raced in just about every sedan class there is. I haven't done any open wheel, but most of the sedan classes I've had a, had a chop at. Two or three years ago, Tracy had her first opportunity ever to get along to the Speedway. She'd never right. been to the Speedway. Our nephew's driving in the little Formula 500s now, so we thought right. we'd get along to Archerfield and see that. So what did you think, Trace? It was excellent. There is a lot of fans of people who were involved in the Speedway sport or one that's, ones that get along. They're going to really get that connection about that right foot down and uh, never give up. You should get a good feedback from those people. Yeah, look, um, I actually did a demo version of that song a few years ago and I sent it to a couple of people I, I know at the Speedway and one of them wrote back to me and said their kids absolutely loved it. I haven't had a great deal of feedback from Speedway people but most of the people that have heard it uh, think it's pretty good so that's encouraging. If you're at the Speedway and you know, have the speakers going and that, and they, they play that over there while they're racing that'd be pretty cool. Well that's the plan, mm. that's what I want to happen in the long run, yeah I'd like to be able to do a deal with uh, one of the Speedway promoters and, and get, some, get it played over the PA, that would be fantastic. Well there you go for all our Speedway people out there get onto your racks and say hey we have the song for you that's right now up in your neck of the woods was one of the best speedways from years ago i don't know i think it's a motocross track now the old echo valley oh that's right yes echo valley never raced there it looked uh, pretty treacherous on the side of a hill yeah it's absolutely brilliant i was a speedway nut in my day you mentioned you wrote this a, a few years ago why the delay to release it as a single I had a feeling you would ask me that question. <laughs> the reason for that is because the EP that I released early last year had some more traditional sounding songs on it and I wanted to do an EP with some songs that had a similar sound. I saved this one till a bit later because I wanted it to be more at the rock end of the country rock mm. spectrum and a bit more contemporary sounding, so I, I did it separately, that's why, yeah. Glenn Hannes sound, certainly sounds like he had a bit of fun with the guitar work. Yeah, he did a fantastic job, yeah, excellent. The song was actually produced by Simon Johnson down there at Hillbilly Hut Studios, and that's an amazing studio to get down there. We've heard a lot of people, you know, bringing their stuff out there. What is it like to be recording with Simon Johnson? Oh, look, Simon's a really easygoing bloke. To be honest, I've never set foot inside the studio. We, we did this all remotely. I actually recorded the vocals in the, the lounge room of the house that Simon was staying in during the Tamworth Country Music Festival. Wow. And, and the other musicians did their job when they did it. And so then I've Simon never, just put it all I've, together. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing what you can do these days. So now I've never seen his studio, but I, I'd like to get down there and do some more. That is a great story. I love that story. And, you know, it's amazing, as you said, the technology behind, you know, what, what happens today, whereas before it used to be everyone all into the one studio and the band and everybody yep. playing all at the one time, whereas That's now you it. can have someone playing over over in Switzerland, someone from America, someone over yeah. in New Zealand, someone singing in the lounge. <laughs> That's it, yeah. Yeah, no, that was that was great fun, yeah. It was the last day of the Country Music Festival and, um, and Simon and I got together and, and, he, and he said just come over to the house I'm staying in and, and we just yeah set up a microphone in the lounge room and he had the track had the instrumental track playing in the in wow. the headphones and I just sang along and we did a few takes and and that was it and then he went and mixed it all together and and, and now you've got the finished product. Well, that is cool. Well, we're about to play that. It is called Out in the Clay, or Out on the Clay, and that's, it is available right. on Amazon, the Google Music Store, iTunes, etc. I see the baby, it's everywhere. But you can hop onto uh, Peter's Facebook page, which is just, you know, Peter Campbell, Country Music, you'll find him on there, and you can follow all the links through to there. So, Peter, we might give this song a bit of a play now and see what our listeners think, hey? That would be great. Here he is right now, Peter Campbell, and Out on the Clay. Flat strap, turn left, keep your right foot down That's what they say There's nothing like a Saturday night Yeah, there's nothing like a Saturday night There's nothing like a Saturday night Out on the clay 